Our lesson for today is all about dividing decimals with up to two decimal places. Here are the steps in dividing decimal numbers. Number one, when the dividend and divisor are plus decimals or mixed decimals, make the divisor a whole number by moving the decimal point to the right of the last digit. Move the decimal point in the dividend as to many places as in the divisor. Number two, divide the decimals like you do with full numbers. Let's study some examples. Divide 35 hundredths by 7 tenths. 35 hundredths is the dividend and 7 tenths is the divisor. To get the quotients or the answer in division, we're going to write first in this format. We put 35 hundredths inside and 7 tenths outside. In dividing decimals, make the divisor a whole number by moving the decimal point to the right of the last digit. So we're going to move the decimal point in our divisor. Okay, we move one decimal place in our divisor. We're going to move also one decimal place in our dividend. And we're going to put a decimal point in our quotient. Then, divide the decimals like you do with full numbers. 3 divided by 7, the answer is equal to 0. Zero times seven is equal to zero. Three minus zero is equal to three. Bring down five. Thirty-five divided by seven is equal to five. Five times seven is equal to thirty-five. Then 35 minus 35 is equal to 0 or we don't have a remainder. Therefore, if we're going to divide 35 hundredths by 7 tenths, the answer is 5 tenths. Another example, find the quotients of 68 hundredths and 4 tenths. To get the answer, we're going to write in this format. We put 68 hundredths inside and 4 tenths outside. First is we're going to make our divisor a whole number. So, we have here a decimal point in our divisor. We're going to move this one going to the right. Okay, one decimal place. Then we're going to move also the decimal point in our dividend, one decimal place also. And we're going to affix the decimal point in our quotient. Then, let's divide. 6 divided by 4, the answer is equal to 1. 1 times 4 is equal to 4. 6 minus 4 is equal to 2. Bring down 8. 28 divided by 4 is equal to 7. 7 times 4 is equal to 28. 28 minus 28 is equal to 0. So, if we're going to divide 68 hundredths and 4 tenths, the quotient is equal to 1 and 7 tenths. Another example. What is the quotient of 85 hundredths and 25 hundredths? To get the answer first, we're going to move the decimal points in our divisor. We're going to move to the rightmost to make it a whole number. So we move 1, 2. Since we move 2 decimal places in our divisor, we're going to move also 2 decimal places in our dividend. So, the decimal point now is after 5, and we're going to affix the decimal point in our quotient. 
Then let's divide. 85 divided by 25, the answer is equal to 3. 3 times 25 is equal to 75. 85 minus 75 is equal to 10. Since we have already a decimal point in our dividend, we can add 0 now. Then bring down 0. 100 divided by 25 is equal to 4. 4 times 25 is equal to 100. 100 minus 100 is zero or we don't have a remainder therefore the quotient is equal to three and four tenths i hope that you understand our lesson for today and if you are new in this channel don't forget to subscribe like and share this video and click the notification bell so that whenever i uploaded a new video you will be notified Thank you for watching.